greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is one uh, one of the YouTubes I am going to publish to the public that uh, as we know that William Branham is a mighty prophet. No doubt William Branham is a mighty prophet and we believe his message and we trust that he, he was sent by God. He fulfilled Malachi 4.5 and uh, Revelation 10.7, Luke 17.30 partially and uh, uh, Matthew 25, Behold the bridegroom coming, cometh. So all these scriptures are fulfilled by William Branham. And uh, yeah, but uh, I want to tell the I want to tell the people that uh, most of the followers of Malachi 45, William Branham's message, are failed to recognize the coming of the Lord. Why? Because uh, they have fallen so much love on Brother Branham, so much love until they forget the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. See, we have to love the Lord. We have to love the prophet. We have to love William Branham, he is a mighty prophet, no doubt, but our love, our adoration, our uh, worship, everything must go to the Lord Jesus Christ, that we should not forget. People are forgetting only one side ministry. They forget, uh, they, they only know one side ministry, one ministry, uh, that, that is Brother Branham's, and even in the time of uh, John the Baptist, the same thing happened. They only sided with the prophet. They only uplifted the prophet. And they only fell love on the uh, prophet John the Baptist and here William Branham. But they, uh, they failed to recognize the coming of the Lord. That is most important. That, that is why today my the subject is mainly upon uh, that people are failed to recognize the coming of the Lord. Instead of that, they are uplifting William Branham so much, so much. We have to uplift William Branham. I am, I am, I myself is uh, appreciating and loving William Branham more than a, anything. But at the same time, our uh, love, the greatest love, must go to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So the, therefore, I. I, I, I just want to speak uh, may, mainly from the scriptures to prove, from the Bible, to prove that William Branham is none other than John the Baptist in the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Though similarly, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, William Branham is, at, he, he is played uh, the part of John the Baptist. Nothing else, not more than that. He had a, he had played the part of the John the Baptist. Therefore, uh, William Branham was uh, we can say William Branham was the, is a friend of the bridegroom, like John the Baptist was a friend of the bridegroom. So they are the friend. That that is what the scripture says. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, and I do I just want to uh, you know point out to the word of God and to the message of William Branham, what Brother Branham said about that, not bringing several quotes and many quotes, no, important uh, quotes I want to read uh, in order to uh, tell you, all, all of you tell you that uh, William, you, are, you people, most of you people are fail to recognize the coming of the Lord. You are standing only where Brother Branham stood and you only know William Branham. That's all. Nothing more than that. Only you know William Branham. But there is lot we we ought to know after William Branham, what happened, even when the time of William Branham, what taken place, what William Branham testified about that. These all things we must knew. we must need to know that. Otherwise we cannot make a rapture. We cannot go in the rapture. We we cannot receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit if you fail to do that. Yes, everybody saying Brother Branham, Brother Branham, tapes and message books, uh, spoken word books, all those things that don't serve our, uh, you know, so that don't serve the agenda that we are standing for. All right. Now, here one quote, uh, some quotes I am I'm reading. I can hear the water splash yonder on the Wahio River. When I was a little old boy preacher, about 22 years old, singing that there, and I heard, looked up above me, and heard a voice said, Look up, here come 
that big light hanging right yonder come moving down over me and said as john the baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of g christ you will have a message that will forerun the second coming of christ 1959 what was the holy ghost given for so this is the quote how that they, this quotes uh, uh, unquote see the clearly it says the audio voice is none other than the lord he spoke through the light you know that your message means brother william branham's message will forerun the second coming of christ straight away straight away no doubt at all so second coming of so that means christ coming second time so christ had to come and christ had to appear christ had to stand on the earth in order to prepare the bride 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 of christ brother banam cannot prepare one single member of the bride without christ because it is the work of the bridegroom and bridegroom is still on the earth and we are acquainted with the bridegroom none other than christ jesus christ all right another quote i just like want to read for you this all very important quotes listen brethren i adjure you before christ that you you hold this part of your peace but if you are spiritual you would understand unquote you see what brother branham says if you are spiritual you would have understood that yes of course they are, because people are not enough spiritual so that they are missing many things i i continue the quote see don't you know what the very first thing he said down there on the river Don't you remember what he said as John the Baptist was sent forth to forerun the first coming of Christ your message it is a message that will forerun the second coming of Christ that is what the angel of the lord said question and answer 1961 unquote this is another course you know from question and answer now i read some continually now now notice now as john the baptist now all of you have heard that you have you have read it in books and heard people that standing there hearing it and everything else when that angel itself spoke that message as john the baptist was sent forth to forerun the first coming of christ you are sent with this message will forerun the second coming of christ now the message question and answer 1961 all right uh, so the, this is what my dear brothers and sister while we we were singing that a voice screamed from the heaven and here come that great pillar of fire circling right down and said as john the baptist was sent to forerun his first coming you have a message that will forerun the second look where she went that is 31 years ago look where it is went for them around the world uh, in a revival fire and now we see it coming the time is at hand amen question and answer 1962 all these quotes are proving john, brother branham was john the baptist amen nothing more than that he was john the baptist you cannot call him a christ you cannot say he is the christ so he is john the baptist why yes uh, he is john the baptist so therefore he is uh, yeah, he is john the baptist nothing more than that you cannot uh, put him in the place of christ christ is different brother branham is different oh, oh yes many people are thinking that brother branham had a great ministry of course he had a great ministry like other prophets but he is more than any other prophets in the bible because he in his time in his ministry the mysteries of god which were which is written in the bible was revealed that is a, that is a great thing that is a, but more than him is a christ the mighty 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 angel amen the lord jesus christ all i continue i have another quote and i want to say this i have never said it before but according to scripture you see according to what he said 30 years ago 33 years ago or the river down there in 1933 rather what he said everything has happened just exactly i may not do it but the message will introduce listen carefully the message Uh, will introduce jesus christ to the world 
for as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming, so is the message to forerun the second coming. And John said, Behold the Lamb of God that take away that takes away the sin of the world. See, so it is paralleled it in every way, and no, it will. The message will go on. Look away to Jesus 1963. Unquote. Everything is parallel. Exactly, exactly what the scripture says. We ought to go back and check the scripture. The Bible is a fully authenticated book and the Bible is revealed today. We know all the secrets have been revealed. All the mysteries have been revealed. Every types in the Bible. Brother Branham said seventh seal. Every types are in the Bible. That is what Brother Branham said. Listen carefully. Now, you people are saying only Brother Branham. What a, what a, what a nonsense doctrine it is. There is no ministry at all. Then what about the fivefold ministry? What about the bride ministry? What about the other pro uh, the many prophets will rise? That is what the Bible says. Well, is not the Bible speak about that? The many prophets will rise. Many uh, uh, many kinds of gifts will be operated because the outpouring of the Holy Ghost will take place. We are positionally placed in the body of Christ. Are not we uh, uh, we, we will not will not be uh, positionally Positionally placed in the body of Christ, we will be positionally placed in the body. Everyone will recognize his place one of these days by the baptism of the Holy Ghost, by the token, by the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, because body of Christ must be uh, placed. Yes, body of Christ must be placed within the body of Christ, because uh, the, the first Corinthians says, by one spirit we are baptized. By, by, we are by one spirit we are baptized by the Holy Ghost into the body of Christ. That is what the scripture says. Alright. So these are all the great, great quotations my dear friend. Now now listen here. The, this I am reading from the scriptures. Yes. So this is very important. The, these are all the things are very important. Now, uh, the, this is directly I am speaking from the scripture. You know, I, 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 uh, as I proving you from the message of Vilabran, so also I should prove from the Bible. Because Bible is the final. Everything should be backed up by the Bible. If that is not there, if you are, you, if you are dirty doctrine, I can say dirty doctrine, no pro, uh, pro no, no, nobody after William Branham. William Branham only the uh, prophet. No, nothing else will take place. No one is there. It is your dirty doctrine. This dirty doctrine cannot stand uh, scripturally. And scripture never speak about your dirty doctrine. Scripture speaks the truth. Because Bible is the full truth. So we are going back to the Bible and see what Bible speaks about. Now, Luke 17, 19, John calling unto him, two of his disciples, sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or look for another? When the, when the men were come unto him, they said, John, they said, John, baptize, sorry, John the Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? And the disciples of John showed him of all things. Unquote. See, the scripture says, so John also had the disciples in those days. Just like today, John also had the disciples like William Branham also had the have the disciples and Jesus also had the disciples. The, 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 these two divisions were, were there one time. Now these two divisions are even today in this end time. See one one side John the Baptist had his disciples. Here also John the Baptist called William Branham. He also has his disciples. So same way uh, in those days and even now and the same way Jesus also had a disciples in those days and here we can say Jesus also have his disciples. Oh yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. The, that is what I, I just want to prove you from the Bible. Ah, no doubt. Now Luke 16 so sorry Luke 6.13 when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and them chose twelve. This is about Jesus Christ, whom also he named apostles, Simon and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphesus, and Simon called Zelos, 
and Judas, the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was a traitor. And he came down with them and stood in the plain, and the company of the disciples, the, and, the, and a great multitude of people out of a Judea and Jerusalem, and from, and from the area coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of that diseases. Unquote. Now here we say that you know all these apostles, prophet, from where it came? Uh, it came from G Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ's di disciples only became the apostles, not John the Baptist. That is why same thing here today. John the Baptist apostles have no, they deny the Ephesians 4.11. They deny the fivefold ministry. They deny everything They because they can't stand for, for that. But I tell you, some, some are claiming, but that is a false demonic fivefold ministry. All right, because they don't recognize the coming of the Lord. If you don't recognize the coming of the Lord, you cannot you cannot be a minister, you cannot be a pastor, you cannot be what you what you are going to preach. You tell me if you do not know the coming of the Lord, what are you going to preach? What are you going to teach? What are you going to prophesy? What are you going to evangelize? What are you going to do that? If you fail to recognize the coming of the Lord, you are going to uh, preach about Branham. You are going to preach about William Branham. It is impossible. Nobody can, nobody preached about John the Baptist. Nobody. They, the, the Bible says they preached Christ unto them. Amen. Because they understood the Christ, the coming of the Lord. So that they preached the Christ unto them. Amen. All right. Now, now uh, listen carefully. The John the Baptist disciples were there even after the Pentecost. That same John the Baptist disciples, you know, they met Paul. Yes, now for that here uh, it is uh, written, Acts chapter 19, 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at uh, Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much has heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then, unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John, John's baptism. Then said Paul, uh, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with the tongues and prophesied. Amen. See, they never heard the Holy Ghost. Why? Because John already told, I can only baptize you in the water. But one who stand before me, uh, otherwise, uh, in, in, in other mean. Uh, in another words, one who stands before you, one who is after me, who is standing already on the earth, he will baptize you in the spirit, in the, in the Holy Ghost and the fire. Yes, that ministry is different. These people never recognized that ministry. That is why they failed to uh, uh, recognize and answer to Paul. When Brother Paul asked directly, he asked the question, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Ha. Huh. They said, no, we never heard. Well, how can they hear if they are not uh, recognize the coming of the Lord, if they had not recognized Jesus Christ, how they can uh, they, they, they can hear the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They never uh, know that. They don't know the same thing today, same condition in these people today who are following uh, William Branham's message. They never heard about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They don't know. They think that they have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but, but, but it is false. It is not right. They never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If they had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, they would have been walked in the truth. They are not in the truth. They are in the error. Many of them are in the heresies. Is Holy Ghost leading them, anyone of us, into the heresies? No. Is Holy Ghost 
give us the false anointing. No, the Holy Ghost will never do that. Holy Ghost will lead you because the Bible says when the Holy Ghost will come, he will lead you into all the truth and truth will make you free. That is what the Bible says. Now these people are not recognizing so brother Paul, same thing will going to take place when we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost in the fullness, in the fullness of the power and the token and when these people will come and when we ask the same question like brother Paul is asking they say we never heard we, then what you are baptized you know, baptized in, uh, in William Branham's time in the name of Jesus Christ that's all my dear brothers and sisters they never heard the uh, you know they never heard the baptism of the Holy Ghost yes that is why brother Paul said well, yes, you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then after they uh, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, well, yes, they received the uh, uh, they they received the message from Brother Paul. Then Brother Paul laid the hands upon them. Then they received the Holy Ghost baptism. Amen. That is what. Now, now here another outstanding things I would like to tell you. Yes. Uh, now here, now, now one by one you listen because this is our very outstanding. Now John 3.27, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing, listen carefully, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Huh. You yourselves bear the witness that I said, I am not the Christ. You see, listen carefully. I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. Amen. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom. Unquote. He that hath the bridegroom is the bridegroom. Sorry. He hath had the bride is the bridegroom. Huh? Is William Branham is the bridegroom? No, William Branham cannot be a bridegroom. He is a human being. We are not going to marry with the human being, human prophet. We are going to marry with the heavenly prophet. A heavenly being is none other than Christ. He is our bridegroom. Amen. Aha. That is what. All right. I continue now. Scripture. But the friend of the bridegroom. John the Baptist. Who, who, who he was? He was the friend of the bridegroom. Who is William Branham? He is the friend of the bridegroom. He is friend of the bridegroom. Who is greater? Or bridegroom, bridegroom is greater? That is my question to you. Uh, hearers who watching this YouTube, my direct question to you, is William Branham is uh, uh, greater than the bridegroom? Friend can, can friend become a greater than the bridegroom? No, bridegroom is greater than his friend. Alright, I continue. Which standeth and heareth them, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's wise. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. See, he that cometh from above means from the heaven. Because Jesus Christ came from heaven. John the Baptist belongs to the earth. Similarly, Brother Branham is of the earth. Earthly bound. Jesus Christ is from heaven. He is coming from heaven. So heaven is a greater one. Alright, continue the scripture. Above. Uh, he that is of earth is earthly. Yes, Amen. And speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. Amen. He that cometh from heaven is above all. So the Lord Jesus Christ is above than William Branham. He is above all the prophets. He is a mighty angel. He is a mighty one. He is a mighty greater person. Yes, everything is he. So praise be the name of the Lord. So we cannot deny that. See, one who, one who come from above which William Branham already watched that angel the seventh angel flying angel flew towards the eastern part of America and that had the seventh seal he is the greatest one than the William Branham one who revealed the sixth seal is the smaller angel earthly angel one who revealed the seventh seal and one whose mouth came out the seven thunders roaring like a lion he is the mighty angel he is the Christ. Amen. So there is no doubt at all. So we cannot mix up together.
All right. So this is very vital truth. All right. Uh, this is what. Uh, uh, now I just want to read for you here the statement made by William Branham. Now the statement made by William Branham that is very important. Yes, that is very very important. All right. <coughs> you must uh, know that. All right. Now here I don't want to go lengthy for that. This is very important. Yeah, I just read for you. See, it is from the seventh seal message, Brother Branham. Now, now you you can find out you watching the YouTube and here and keep the seals book with you. Skip the seals book, keep the Bible all together and see from the Bible and see from the seals book huh, whether I am speaking truth or whether I am speaking lie, you, you will come to know. Because if that is those things what I am speaking, not there in the Bible, not there in the message, forget me, leave me. Uh, leave me, don't watch my YouTube, don't leave me out. But if it is there in the YouTube, you believe me what I am saying is the truth. Yes, now here, this is for seals book, 567 para. It may be time, now I am reading the quotes, okay. It may be time, it may be the hour now, that this great person that we are expecting to rise on the scene, may rise on the scene. Maybe this ministry that I have tried to take people back to the world has laid a foundation. And if it has, I will be living for your good. Aha, uh -huh. unquote, just a minute. Now, the, who is the great person? Not any man it is. Not any man. No man is great person, greater than William Branham. Only the Christ. It, suppose, it must be Christ. It must be Jesus Christ. He is a great person, heavenly angel, mighty angel. Powerful angel, powerful prophet, father of all the prophets. Yes, all right, I continue the quote. Maybe this ministry, uh, 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 yes, I read that. There won't be two of us here. Means John the Baptist and Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, boy, yes, sir. Yeah, my God. Yeah, you people are, why you are reading Bible? Why you are conducting the churches? Why? What use, my dear friend? Your worship is no use, friend. Your worshiping is no use. Better give up your worshiping. Better give up your preaching. You, you all, all you Malachi for, hey, come on, come on, come on, hear what I'm saying. I, I, I just want to play with you. Uh, you people are not nonsensical people have no sense at all what message you are reading I don't understand you are eating the grass like in Nebuchadnezzar one time seven years he was eating the grass just like seven church ages the people were eating the grass grass because they became ox so you people are like a ox eating the grass you get nothing from that that is only your condition okay let me read continue all right. There won't be two of us. Means two personality cannot stand here at the same time. If it is, he will increase, I will decrease. Did you hear that from the Bible? Same thing. He will increase, I will decrease. I don't know, but I have been privileged by God to look and see what it was. All right. Praise be the name of the Lord. Same thing, bra, same thing you can, you heard that here in the scripture. He will increase, I will decrease. Yes. So, the, that is what, you know, the, the, that is what he must increase, I must decrease. That is what he, in the scripture also says, he must increase, but I must decrease. Uh, St. John 3, uh, uh, 3.30, St. John 3.30, write down, St. John 3.30, there he says, he must increase, but I must decrease. And here, Brother Branham, in the, when, the, uh, when the Lord came to him for the seventh sailor, uh, he did not understand, he don't know, he did not know that, so he had to preach in that way. He said, he must increase, I must decrease. Amen. So, he must means who it is. And who is the great person? Lord Jesus Christ, revealed as the son of man. Lord Jesus Christ revealed as the son of man. That, that, was, that, that is the prophetical ministry. Not only William Branham is a prophet, another prophetical ministry. There had to be, the son of man had to be revealed. So that son of man had revealed uh, through the prophet. 
prophetical ministry. Yes, was not a Jesus prophet? Was not a Jesus prophet? Yes, Jesus was a prophet. Did Peter say, Jesus, you are a prophet? No. The Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. What happened? Why he did why did he say like that? Because Peter recognized the Christ in that prophet. So that is what today we have to recognize, my dear friend. Not a man, not you recognizing the man, recognizing the Christ. Aha, uh-huh. that is what. So these are the very Outstanding quotations, of course. Now, very important, I just want to read for you. Huh? Now, listen here, St. John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light. Amen. Who John was not that light. William Branham was not that light. But was sent to bear witness of that light. All these two people, John the Baptist, William Branham, they were sent to bear the witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Just like today, unquote. Just like today. He came for his own, but they received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave a power to become the sons of God. Amen. That is true. Even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwell among us. Already dwelt among us. And he beheld his glory, the glory of as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John was, John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. Amen. He that cometh after me, he preferred, preferred before me, for he was before me. Amen. That uh, one, one who was coming, unquote, one who was coming was before John the Baptist. Now we are one who is, uh, who, who, who was coming after William Branham was before William Branham. Amen. Who it must be? It's God. He's the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh yes. Sir. And of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. All right. For the law was given by Moses, but the grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. He that declared him, and this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Uh, unquote, they, they sent a pe- pe- people to him to ask him. But what John said, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said. This is all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, unto him, why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptized, I sorry, I baptized with water, 
Aha, just like with the William Branham, he brought the water baptism, right? Water baptism, unquote, I am speaking. I only baptize with water, but there standeth one among you. Amen. This is very great. There standeth one among you, whom you know not. He it is who coming after me is prepared, preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in uh, Bethbara beyond Jordan where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After he cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore I am come baptizing with water. Unquote. So he came to baptize him with water. Praise be the name of the Lord. So this is a great quote I am reading. So very great quote. So this is a scripturally I am proving. Alright, now... I don't want to take much time. Now here Brother Banham says about the light, about the light, what Brother Banham says, listen carefully. If they are sons to us or light givers, they are part of the main giver. See, the big son gives us the big light, the perfect light. The little suns or the little stars which we can see in bodies, they may be far beyond the sun that shines. But what they reflect to us is a smaller light. But they are only giving witness of a light. Amen. Very nice. Is that right? Then when the big sun rises. Amen. Who is the big sun? Lord Jesus Christ. Big sun rises. The little suns go out. Aha, uh -huh. when big sun rises now, the big sun uh, risen and the little sons like William Branham and all other prophets who are giving a little light, they, ha they have to go out. Is that right? They are not the sun to us. They are a reflector like the sun. See what I mean. Amen. William Branham, question and answer 1961. Why oh, yes sir. Praise be the name of the Lord. Praise be the name of the Lord. So, these are the very great quotations. So, big light, big sun is none other than Jesus Christ. Why, oh, yes, sir? He came, he risen, according to the Matthew 24, as the lightning, as the lightning flasheth from the east to the west, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. That is what the scripture, lightning flasheth from the east to the west. So, my dear brothers and sisters, listen carefully. Yesterday, I published one, uh, one, one YouTube and Lion of Tribe of Judah. You hear that from my channel and you will understand who is Lion of Tribe of Judah and who it must be, from where he uh, came, everything you will hear from the mouth of the prophet Branham in the audio voice it is there. So, this much I just want to tell you, so I can, I proved from the Bible, I proved from the message of William Branham that John the Baptist ministry and William Branham's ministry is one and the same. There is no doubt at all. So, whether you believe it or not believe it, I am not responsibility. I have preached what I supposed to preach. God bless you.